So my name is Jessica Abick and I am a business alchemist. I work with very intelligent, passionate, and creative women to help them to transform their inner gifts into business gold. To help them really align who they inherently are with the right strategies and tools and techniques for them to be really powerful in what they're trying to do in the world. Now, I think that the idea of who a leader is and what makes a leader is a fantastic thing to explore. Because I think for most of us, we have this idea of a leader as being somebody larger than life, very charismatic, with a huge following and doing these amazingly giant things in the world. But I think the truth of leadership is actually in small little micro bursts of choices that we make every single day. Every one of us has a capacity to be a leader. I think what leadership actually is, is tapping into a small little inner voice and an inner calling and then following it. So that could be something as small as connecting with the neighbors around you and organizing a way to bring everybody together. It could be something as large as making a career decision to stay home with your child children and leave a very successful career or put your children in daycare and continue a very successful career. Really it's about finding the callings that are inside of you and following them. So everyone has that. Everyone has that capacity. It's really not something that people need to come down and designate you as a leader. My story is actually a little bit convoluted. I started out um, in my own business 15 years ago, not because I loved business, but because I loved what I was doing. And I was very, very um, independent. I wanted to be able to go and travel and do what I wanted to do on a day-to-day -day basis. I've never been very good at having people tell me what to do. I'd rather work 60 hours a week for myself than 20 hours a week for somebody else. Um, but I, I struggled in business for a long time. In fact, I was very, very resistant to most of the ideas about business. I gave a lot of my stuff away. Um, I did never charge enough. And um, I always say I was kind of had to be allergy tested for marketing. I hated self-promotion. It was just so hard for me to, you know, me, 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 me. Um, but after about four or five years of that, of really struggling and eking by and barely making it, I really took a hard look at myself and my beliefs about money, um, and I started working with a coach around a lot of those things and really having amazing transformation. And so when I look at people that are in business that are trying to attract more clients or they're trying to do better or whatever, I think that it's the same process. It's not an external one. It's not something that you go out and you read the right book or you listen to the right guru. It's about really doing that internal transformation process and then aligning it with the powerful tools that are everywhere out there right now.